हेलो चिल्ड्रेन एंड वेलकम टू ब्रिलियंट ऑनलाइन इडियो क्लासेस आई एम हियर विद एन इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ ग्रामर दैट इज टेंस एज वी ऑलरेडी नो द फैक्ट दैट देर आर थ्री टेंस प्रेजेंट पास्ट एंड फ्यूचर ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ टाइम लेट एस नो समथिंग मोर अबाउट टेंस द वर्ड टेंस इज डिराइव फ्रॉम अ लैटिन वर्ड टेम्पस विच मीन्स टाइम एक्चुअली टेंस इज अ स्टडी ऑफ वर्ब फॉर्म्स अ वर्ब डिनोट्स द टाइम ऑफ एन एक्शन इवेंट और कंडीशन by changing its form so the verb tenses can be categorized on the basis of time frame that are present tense past tense and future tense present tense denotes an unchanging repeated or reoccurring action or situation that exists at present present tense can also represent a widespread or universal truth past tense denotes an action or situation that was started and finished in the past and future tense denotes an action or situation that will occur in the future dear students tenses can also be categorized on the basis of aspect aspect refers to the nature of the action that is described by the verb there are four aspects of verb tenses indefinite or simple continuous or progressive or imperfect perfect or complete and perfect continuous so now let us have the concept of these four kinds of aspects indefinite or simple tense in all the three tenses based on time that are present past and future this aspect can be applied it means there are three types of indefinite or simple tense that are present simple past simple or future simple tense or in another word present indefinite past indefinite or future indefinite the three indefinite tenses or simple tenses describe an action but do not state whether the action is finished continuous tense continuous tense denotes an unfinished or continued action in all the three tenses present past or future perfect tense the three perfect tenses that are present past or future perfect tenses denote a completed or finished action perfect continuous tense this tense is used to denote an action that has already been started and then continued up to a particular time so 3 into 4 total there are 12 possible verb tenses that are present past and future indefinite or simple present past or future continuous present past and future perfect present past and future perfect continuous here this is the basic structure to form sentences according to tense students you have to read it very carefully you have to use right structure to form a sentence now let us know about each and every tense as we know that four tense forms in each tense so in present tense also there are four tenses present indefinite present continuous present perfect present perfect continuous so let us know about present indefinite or present simple tense the simple present is used to describe an action an event or condition that is occurring in the present at the moment of speaking or writing we use simple present tense to talk about an action that takes place habitually it means to denote a habit we use simple present tense like i speak english every day it means it's my natural habit to speak english every day we use simple present tense to talk about universal truths or scientific facts like the earth revolves around the sun simple present tense is also used to denote scheduled or planned actions planned events in the coming future 
like the test match starts on monday the prime minister comes here tomorrow present continuous tense the present continuous tense emphasizes the continuing nature of an action event or condition we use present continuous tense to describe an action that is happening right now we use present continuous tense to talk about temporary situations we use present continuous tense to talk about something that is happening nowadays present perfect tense the present perfect tense is used to describe an action that began in the past and continues up to the present or has just been completed the present perfect tense denotes such actions whose effect remains up to the present like i have taken food i have lived here for 2 years the present perfect continuous tense is used to describe an action event or condition that has begun in the past and continues up to the present it has been raining all the day we use since and for in perfect and perfect continuous tenses since is used to denote a certain point of time a certain date certain week day night month year etc and for is used to denote a period of time now let's know about past tense as like other tenses past tense also has four forms past indefinite past continuous past perfect and past perfect continuous past indefinite or simple past is used to describe an action an event or condition that occurred in the past past continuous tense the past continuous tense is used to denote such actions that were continued in past this tense is used to denote incomplete actions the actions that were either stopped because of an interruption or actions that continued to happen before and after another event for example the child was crying when the mother came i was playing the piano when you called me the past perfect tense is used to denote such actions that began before a certain point of time in the past and continued up to that time or stopped just before it example i had written a letter before i went to the post office past perfect continuous tense the past perfect continuous tense is used to denote a continuing action in the past began before the beginning of another past action as an example we had already been staying in london for 3 years when you knew the fact now let's know about future tense like all the other tenses future tense also has four types future indefinite or simple future continuous future perfect and future perfect continuous tense let us know about future indefinite or simple future the simple future is used to denote such actions that will take place after the act of speaking or writing we use simple future to denote a promise or a suggestion like she will go to paris tomorrow i am going to read the newspaper tomorrow he will purchase a car next year etc future continuous tense the future continuous tense is used to denote such actions that will be continued or that will be happening at a particular time in future like i shall be doing my work tomorrow future perfect tense the future perfect tense is used to denote such an action that will be completed by a particular time in future and especially before another action takes place we shall have arrived by the evening by october next year i will have got married now future perfect continuous tense the future perfect continuous tense is used to talk about an ongoing action that will be continued or will have just been completed at a time mentioned of future the students will have been studying in this school for 10 years when they qualify 10th by june 2022 I shall have been working at this office for 3 years. Okay my dear students, I have recapitulated tense. Thank you.